శ్రీనాథ్ సూరజ్ Actually, Srinath uh, uh, and, and me, when we had our first scene together, I was very nervous because you, have, you had worked with Ranbir Kapoor. I was like, he's going to compare me with Ranbir and, and I'll fail or something. So I was like, I have to know my lines, extra, extra prepped I was, but you were phenomenal in the film. I love the experience of working with you. I have gained a brother and like my father seeing you in the film is like, this boy is going to become a hero. So all the best to you. Manika Di sir, this film, I'll, I'll come to the fact that this film is full of nice people. Manika Di Garu is a very scary uh, lone shark in the film. Uh, when Patel Bhai was there, I think uh, uh, Bhaskar's knees only start shaking. But in real life, you're the kindest, sweetest, gentlest soul. Uh, after every speech, you always say, I'm sorry if I said something wrong. Please don't ever apologize, sir. Uh, your speeches are wonderful, they're witty, they're full of heart. you or nobody any apologies it's been such a joy working with you thank you sir narayan sir i think as much as you said baskar in the film i have said narayan sir narayan sir narayan sir narayan sir throughout the throughout the, the bank uh, uh, episodes naka uh, bank said to it had so much life i think uh, bangla did a beautiful job in creating the bank uh, nimesh of course shot it when he was directing it but the life and soul of that bank was all of you i think all the, all the characters uh, i enjoyed i think we all felt like we were bank employees mon andriki oka task undi oka chore so like even if we don't have a dialogue we were all doing our our task so it felt like it felt so live and i felt like i was like such a good looking brother no and uh, you know i remember i seen uh, shooting the uh, time low you had a migraine but you didn't show it and you performed so easily and i just had to bounce off you so thank you so much for that pleasure working with you na kasi reddy mana friends ega there's no acting there so kasi and me i think uh, first time we came to set i felt like you looked very different from what you looked in sita rama but the smile is the same i think from day one we became friends ipudu kuda every day i'll get at least 10 stories or messages from kasi reddy because it's so personal to him so we have a great bond i hope we can be friends in many many movies uh mahesh please me kedo script if you like tell me you can you can help find me good scripts because whatever you choose has been a blockbuster so we'll we'll sign a contract that you listen you tell me i'll sign done uh who else i'm missing sai kumar sir he's left but ah he's here sir i love you i love you like like family like like you are dad's brother or something it is uh, such a gentleman we were all the biggest fans of your voice nimish belly says something when he is behind the camera he's like oof sai kumar sir's voice like i'm looking into the camera you can just hear it everywhere it just <laughs> reverberates all over that set and it's been such a pleasure such a learning experience just you sharing all your experiences sir did you dub in tamil also i watched it so i watched tamil version i was like this can't be somebody else uh, your voice is a blessing not just to you but to but to all of us i don't know who else i'm missing from the cast i'll come to you minakshi ramki sir again another gentleman that i, I got the opportunity to work with uh, na chinna punche i've been a fan of his acting as a star that he was his styling and he was an absolute gentleman throughout the shoot uh, i think we made him work really late hours uh, 2 am 3 am shoots but uh, not even once did he ever complain and he always went along with with uh, with the shoot proceedings um i think uh, banerjee sir who played uh, baskar's father he was i think everybody is a, is a unique character in the film sir is very spiritual uh, sir always talks about his experiences and i love that throughout the film he didn't say a word but then he like when he said he got like hero like mass whistles and claps uh, when 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 he came on um ritwik star baby superstar 
he's uh, killed it in the film. Uh, I love him dearly. He's not here today, uh, and I'll miss him. Uh, Meenakshi, we all, I mean, I think looking great and glamorous is like super easy for you. It's not even a challenge. I don't think she's even like challenged by it. But I think being Sumati is, uh, you've got into everybody's hearts. And I think everybody talks about, uh, every mention, whoever I speak to also, along with Baskar, there's a mention of Sumati uh, and how believable you were. And now I'm seeing all, all the young men being like, oh, we want a wife like Sumati. So that's a great victory. Uh, I think you'll always be remembered for this role. It's been an absolute joy working with you. Uh, coming to our technical crew, I finally get to meet the great G.V. Prakash. Uh, when we've always been like friends on, online, we've only been texting. Uh, G.V. is the first person to message me saying, bro, we have a blockbuster on our hands. Uh, put almost 40 films I've done, I think. And uh, I've heard this before also. I was like, ah, yeah, yeah, I've heard it. <laughs> we'll wait till Monday after release and then we'll know if it's done well. But uh, I, I always had faith in the film, but I think he saw it more clearly than I did. Uh, I've never seen you and Venki together, but I've heard so many stories of, of bo your interactions, both of you. <laughs> They're literally, I think, like brothers. They're like twins. Uh, they have a great dynamic. They will be composing music anywhere. They might be in Chennai, they might be in Dubai. But, uh, and he is so quick with his tunes. <clears throat> this film was never delayed. No song shoot was delayed. No post-production was delayed from, uh, from GV side, which as a producer, I should know that is a, that is a very rare <laughs> feat. <laughs> but uh, I hope we collaborate on many more films together, GV. Um, Nimish, who's not here today because he's busy shooting a film I'm producing in Kochi. Uh, we haven't really had a chance to discuss the, the joy of this film. Um, we've done many films together and we, our last film didn't exactly do very well. So I think we had a lot of things to prove and we wanted to do our best in this film. Um, the beauty of, I think, Nimish's work is it's, it's not so visible. Like, he's just, he takes you into the film and takes you into the characters. He brings you intimately to our faces. So if a lot of these performances are being appreciated, I think it has a lot to do with our DOP. Uh, Banglan, you've, I think, probably one of the best production designers we have in the country. Uh, done many of my films. Of course, Lucky Bhaskar. His next is Kantara 2. That looks incredible. I've seen some images. Uh, Naveen, newly our editor. This is the one big fight I used to have with, uh, <laughs> with Venki and Naveen. In the country, Naku, in cinema, lo, any shots, any screens, Naku, Chala, Nachindi, Ishto, I love it. I love every shot, every frame, every scene, and I feel like everything has life. So when anything is lost, it can be, it doesn't have to be my dialogue, it can be like any artist dialogue also. I'm like, oh, why are you removing this, Venki? Keep it, keep it. But then it would have been a four and a half, five hour film. Uh, so every time I'll dub, I'll see one frame going, one shot, one dialogue. I'm like, why are you cutting this? And I'll be fighting with Venki. And I'm like, if uh, Navi wants to keep cutting something, ask him to grow plants and chop, chop leaves, <laughs> start gardening. And I used to fight with them. But after seeing uh, the audience reaction on the first day, I think our editor knows best. I will trust Navin blindly to cut any of my films. Because the problem is we are all too attached. We've worked too hard on the, on the shoots. So we... We have, each of us have a favorite shot, favorite scene, favorite dialogue, favorite performance. But I think an editor has the, has the, has the clarity of that. So I think both of you together, Venki and Naveen, are a dynamite combination. Uh, I don't know who else I'm missing. But our crew, Anji, where are you? I love you, Anji, the mostest. Uh, he's our first AD, and he's been there throughout. I always find one, one person that I need on set when the director is busy, I'm like, Anji, am I saying it correctly? Help me with my lines. Uh, so any, any, any consulting I need, I have Anji at, me, uh, at call. Varma, your uh, performance was outstanding in the film. It was a highlight cameo uh, of Lucky Bhaskar. Uh, SK, Akifa, all of you, um, who else are missing, Anson, all our cast and crew. Love you all. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, to the Telugu audience and the people, uh, we have some divine connection. I, uh, like Nagi said, the first time they came to me with Mahanati. At time I have no exposure. I don't know the language. I know I've heard two things as a child, which is Emandi uh, Chappu, Baunara. This is all I've heard. That's all I know. Uh, so I always worried that I will mess up if if I Dilrajagaru, who is not here right now, but he offered me something right after OK Bangaram. But I said, sir, I don't know the language. But uh, this, why, if I'm standing here today, it's because 
Nagi and Swapna had this crazy faith, belief, because they're like that. They believe they can do anything. They say they're going to make a film set in 20, 2098 or whatever. They'll do it because they believe in anything, in the cinema, anything is possible. So they thought this actor from Malayalam could come here and play uh, Jamni Ganeshan Garu in Telugu. Because I think they believed it, I slowly started to believe it. Um, Hanu sir, you took it forward for me from there with Sita Ramam. I will never forget our narration. Uh, that narration was Telugu, Hindi, English, I think maybe a little Tamil also. <laughs> so I was, it was like jigsaw puzzle, I'm getting one one piece, I'm piecing it together. But you gave me one of the most memorable films of my, my, my life, my career. Uh, and then finally, now I'm here with Venki, who looks like this little boy, like my dad's like, nobody will believe this boy directed this film. When you see Venki, he, he doesn't look like a director. I think you have to wear a hat or get a director's chair or some, something, some cliche you have to do. And like uh, Manik says that every day he's worn the same outfit. He has 10 of the same t-shirts, 10 of the same track pants and one uh, kerchief. And this is a look every day. So sometimes you can't find him also because he just blends in the background somewhere. But uh, for beyond his age, beyond how he appears, I think his... Like Nagi said, maybe it's all his life experiences. Maybe it's the many auditions, the many films that you know, you've worked in, uh, your acting uh, gig. Uh, you need to have life experience to write. And I fully believe in that. I think I started acting at the age of 28. If there's any emotion that I can emote, it's because I've had some life experiences. I've been taking a long time, but uh, I am a big believer in uh, energies. And I feel like, uh, full admission, when I met Nagi for the first time, I hadn't seen Yevide. They gave me a, a DVD of Yevide and said, you know, you should watch it. And I never felt the need to watch it because I, I had so much faith in just meeting you. I felt like you're good people and you're trying to make a great film. And I felt like we all connected on that. I had not seen a single film of Hanusas. When he brought me Sita Ram, I was like, I like what this man is trying to make. Uh, he seems genuine, he seems like a good person. And I think when good people come together, they'll make great things. Same thing with Venki. I watched Sir after our narration, actually. Because uh, this energy is so strong. When good people come together, and we have good intentions to make something great, something memorable, we're not thinking hit, blockbuster, awards, nothing. Just tell great cinema, tell great stories, to entertain the audience, respect the audience, respect their intelligence. I believe we can't fail. And this is the only truth to, to my career so far. So to all the wonderful people on this film, I think every single person, every single cast and crew are good people, are kind people who want to do great, like good work, great work. They're there every day, happy to be there, uh, counting their blessings, love their roles to play as crew or cast. So I think we've all come together so even when you're playing somebody evil or mean, I'm like, wow, such a goppa actor, sir, you are, because you are convincing me that you are a mean person, but you're actually such a good, kind person. Same thing with the Suraj. I think Narayan, sir, is just always kind, even in our film, he's kind. Uh, Gayatri, ma'am, I think I'm missing you out somewhere. Love to you as well. Uh, I think Lata, ma'am, Lata, ma'am, also I keep saying a hundred times in the film. Um, I don't think any of us were really acting in this film. I think we all lived it. And full credit to you, Venki, for giving us those just life to enact. Thank you, everybody. Uh, anyone who's not seen Lucky Bhaskar, we're still in theatres. I think we're going to be there for a while. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Dilkar Garu, once again. Many, many congratulations.